Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5072033 because of these error codes. So if you are receiving one of these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now for this, you can open Windows Update in Windows Settings, go to Windows Update. Over here, you can see Pause Update option. You can hit Pause over here. And once it is paused, now you can click on Resume Updates. This process may take some time. Now once paused, now you can Resume Updates. And now you can check still not working the next step is to so type in services in windows search box click on services find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on app readiness click on start restart find background intelligent transfer service make a double click again automatic Apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows Update in the list, scroll down. Somewhere at the bottom you will find Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows Update, click on restart. Now you can go back to Windows Update. And then if you see retry option, hit retry and then check. Still not working. You can run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the command over here. First command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Let the scan complete. This scan will take some time. And once this is 100% complete, copy the second command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete over here, then copy the third command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And once uh, the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in the browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update that is KB5072033. And then click on search. Now over here, let me translate. Now check your version. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box. Click on WinWer run command. Check your version. In my case, it's version 25H2. And check the system type. So go to system. Go to about option at the bottom. And here you can see system type for me is X64. Now, for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 based system. If you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Now click on download and then click on KB5072033 over here and then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you have to follow the on-screen instruction, install this update manually and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Open Windows settings and then go to Windows update go to advanced option over here scroll down click on recovery and here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time once this is done restart your computer and then check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see media creation tool click on download now over here and then run this exe file and then click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and once it is done click on finish option once you hit finish let this close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure uh, this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can log into the computer and then you can update your windows restart your computer and then that process will take some time and once this is done update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel